took his girlfriend in jail. Let me tell y'all the story real quick. This is a cautionary tale to anybody that ever or will be locked up. I pray to God this never happened to nobody, okay? So there was an inmate, right? His name was inmate Charles, okay? Charles was 19 years old and real naive. You know what? I'm not even going to say he was naive because this could happen to anybody that's not on game. So Charles comes in the pot. Charles got money on his books and money on the phone. So this guy, he be watching Charles. So one day he got real friendly with Charles, you know, warming up to him. And this is what I call getting got. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. He basically... He asked Charles, could he do a three-way for somebody? He watched Charles put in his PIN number, and he memorized Charles' PIN number, so then he started using the phone, calling other people off of Charles' account, basically. But let me give y'all the story, and I'm going to tell y'all the story how he ended up taking Charles' girlfriend. Watch this. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, and hit that follow button, and share the video. So... He get real friendly with Charles, right? Hey, Charles, my boy. That ain't his boy. Hey, Charles, my boy. Hey, could you do a three-way for me? Now, this dude, oh, I forgot to tell you the dude's name. The dude's name was Larry. The dude, black dude named Larry. Okay, and Charles was a white boy, 19 years old. And Larry was one of them dudes that you would see on the, at, on, at the corner talking about, yo, hey, yo, young blood, can I get a cigarette? Can I get a cigarette? Hey, young blood, you got 47 cents. Something odd. It's never an even number. Hey, young blood, you got a dollar and 34 cents? That just happened to me the other day when I was at Kroger. This dude, I'm coming out of Kroger, and I see him looking at me, this dude, this random dude. He come up to me like, hey, hey, young blood, you got $2.84? I'm like, no, I ain't got, I ain't got no $2.84. He's like, oh, come on, man. I know you got $2.84. I'm like, dude, get away from me. Ew. I didn't say, dude, get away from me, ill. But I'm like, I didn't want to be bothered, man. I had to go get some crunch berries and some milk for the kids, man. I ain't got time to be conversating. But anyway, so he comes to him like, yo, hey, can I get this three-way? And um, Charles like, yeah, sure, why not? So he do a three-way. So I guess he calls his mama, whatever the case may be. And he like, um, he like, um. Hey, mom, um, this is the older black guy. Hey, mom, um, you know, I've been in here. Could you please send me something on my books or something? Because, you know, I'm not in here eating. And, and can you um, talk to my lawyer and see what's going on, right? But here's the catch. Charles didn't call nobody, man. He ain't called nobody. What he did was, uh, I mean, not Charles, the black dude. When 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 Charles did the three way, he called his girlfriend. Charles called his girlfriend. The black dude asked for a three way. So Charles got on the phone and was pretending to talk to his mama on the three way, but he didn't. He was talking to his girlfriend all the time. While Charles, I mean, while the black dude was talking, he was actually talking to the girlfriend, and she like quiet. She she not knowing what's going on. So then. When Charles walk off, then the black dude start hollering at Charles' girl. So he talking to her, kicking game to her, talking about, yeah, where you from? And all this and that. All along, Charles not hip to what's going on. So this would go on for like maybe five days. Every time Charles would get on the phone, come the black dude. Yo, let me get a three-way. Let me get a three-way. Just all up in the air. Yo, let me get a three-way. Oh, I got a story for y'all. Oh, I got a story for y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about it, too. On the next video. Hit that like button. Hit that follow button. So you come over there like, yo, let me get a three-way. Let me get a three-way. Just like clockwork. So, um, he had given the phone. And dude would just start talking to his girl. And the messed up part about it, the girl didn't even tell Charles, like, what was going on. When it, then it would tell her, like, yo, he trying, he, he trying to talk to me and this and that. So she was foul, too. So long story short, she started putting money on the dude books. She started writing him letters. 
And Charles, she not picking the phone up for Charles no more. She ain't sending him letters. What would happen is at this time, we when we have the, when we have visitors, we have visitors in a chapel. So you can um, you can see when the visitors come in from our dorm, like if it's like a window, you can see the people coming because the chapel was down here, but you have to walk past our pod to see the chapel when people go into the chapel. So we seen the visitors coming in, and guess what? His girl came for a visit. Y'all know where this story going. She didn't come to see Charles. Uh-uh. She came to see that black dude. It gets real sticky. So they, so Charles, so they call the people. Mr. Bell, let's go. You got a visit. Leroy, you got a visit. Calvin, you got a list. They call the people to come for a visit, right? They don't call him. You don't never hear Charles. But you hear that black dude name. So he like, man, my girl here, what, is she seeing somebody else? Like, does she got a relative in here? Can't be, because who who in the pod that I know are her people? So he see the black dude go sit in front of her. He like, what the, what the heck going on here? Took his girl. So he like, man, what the, what is going on? He confused. He don't know what's going on. So after the, the visit over, he run up on him. He like, yo, what was that? What was you doing talking to my girl? Why, why is she here to see you? He looked him up and down like, that's my girl. He like, what you mean that's your girl? He said, that's my girl. You can't hear? That's my girl. Now, Charles was kind of timid. And Charles didn't want to fight. Charles looked like he never got into a fight in his life. So... The black dude is barking on him. I mean, barking on him. Talking about, this my girl. And you ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, she been sending me money. And every time you do that three-way, she been calling me. I don't need that three-way and all this and that. Because she, she put money on his phone now. All that. Commissary, all that. So like I said, this is a cautionary tale, man. If y'all want to know what happened, the black dude was just barking on him. Um, he, Charles ended up going to the CEO saying that he feared for his life and he checked out of our pod. That's what happened. It wasn't no fight. It was just a lot of yelling and shouting, mainly from the black dude barking on the little young white dude. So, like I said, never do three ways for dudes in jail and never give nobody your pen. All right. Hit that like button, hit that follow button, share the video, hit the cash app up. I'm out.